Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm really glad you joined us here today for Metaphysical Ministry International. What is a metaphysical ministry all about? Well, it's actually the philosophical end of quantum physics. It's all about how reality actually happens, how what you perceive, you perceive. And the fact is that with your five senses, you can only detect less than 1% of the reality that sticks out there. So metaphysical means bigger and more than physical, more than just using your five senses to become the multi-dimensional being that all of us are evolving into to be able to experience more of that 99% that actually exists that more and more you can allow yourself to experience. Now we begin every week with a happy share. A happy share is something that leaves you feeling happy, good, at peace. It's not about what happened for your partner, for your kids, for your parents, even your best friend. It's something that left you feeling good and feeling happy. And the reason you want to share a happy share is to get in the habit of happiness. Start looking in your life for things that leave you feeling happy, at peace, and calm. And the more you look, the more you'll notice them. And the more you notice them, the more the universe will bring them to you. And here's the added bonus. When you share your happy share, your subconscious mind can't tell the difference if it's happening now, if it happened before. Is it real? Is it imagined? You're going to relive all those wonderful feel-good feelings. So if you scroll on down here and leave your happy share, not only will you feel better, but somebody who comes by this site and was feeling kind of ha ha ha, they just might see your happy share and it might bring a smile to their face. Let's cause smiles to blossom and change the world because you do that by being happy. Now normally, this would be a week when I would be singing as a minstrel minister. But what I discovered is my voice isn't in a place yet where I can sing and every week when I've been singing, I've been straining it. Now let's see if I'm healing, but then I pull back and strain it. It doesn't work for me. So I decided I'm not going to sing until I know my voice is all there and whole, which you're probably very happy to know because in trying to sing the last few weeks, I haven't sounded really good, which is why I've been putting the lyrics <laughs> down below the video. Anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is affirmations. You see, Affirmations work all the time. The thing is, affirmations aren't what most of the gurus out there are teaching you. They're teaching you how and what to say. But you know what? Affirmations, as they're teaching you, they're just thoughts. And thoughts aren't going in to make any changes in your reality. Just the thoughts not going in to reprogram, to create new programs, which will override programs in there because you have what you don't want. Now, why do I say affirmations work all the time? Because what an affirmation truly is, is your feelings. And if you look at your world, you will notice that it probably looks the same way every day. And it does that because you feel the same feelings every day. So what you're feeling and focusing on is what's causing you to feel the way that you're feeling and you keep getting more of the same, more of what you don't want because you have very strong feelings about what you don't want. And it's the feelings that are being read by the universe and being acted upon that you're manifesting. So affirmations work and they work all the time, but they're not just words and thoughts. They're how you're feeling. So what can you do to create an affirmation, first of all, you want to do it consciously. Second of all, you can only attract to you what vibrates in harmony with you. So you have to put yourself in a place of feeling love, of feeling gratitude before you go and feel the outcome that you want to have. You see, there are no positive events or thoughts, and there are no negative events or thoughts there are only events that have no feelings. What there is, is love or an absence of love. When people do things that we label 
as bad? It's because there's no love there. When people do things that we label as good, it's because they're coming from their heart, because they're living love, because they're connecting heart to heart. So the first thing for you to do if you want to create the world you want is put yourself in a place of love. Be grateful for everything in your world. Be grateful for your hair, that all morning my hair's been telling me, would you please cut us and let us look decent? And I got that message real clearly, and I love that my hair, through the universe, I got the strong message that it's time to get my hair cut. And if you look around, you can be happy for the temperature that's happening today, or for the fact that you got all green lights when you were going someplace. Or sometimes I'm really happy when I get a red light because I want to make a note, or I want to make a phone call, and I'm not going to do that while I'm driving. Every little thing that happens all day long in your life, feel the gratitude that you're experiencing it. Why? Because that puts you in a place of love. And when you're in a place of love and you ask for the, the universe for what you want, coming from the place of love, what you're doing is enveloping that whole vision in the love so the universe is feeling it and acknowledging it and you go a step further by feeling it, by going, not seeing yourself up there on a movie screen, but being behind your eyes, walking on the floor. What does it feel like? What's the temperature in a room? Is it chilly or are you outdoors in the hot sun? Do you have a glass or a canteen or a bottle of something and you're drinking it and you feel it? around in your mouth and sloshing over your teeth and sliding over your tongue and swallowing feel all of that who are you with what are they saying what sounds are you hearing in your environment what are you feeling with your hands with your skin if you're eating something what's your tongue and teeth feeling use all your senses to feel and feel the love and the gratitude for each of those things and when you combine all of those things together and your vision for what you want the universe responds and it doesn't take a day or a week or a year it responds right away it brings what you want to you immediately now you may not be allowing it in so it might not show up in your life just then or maybe the universe knows yeah, you want A, but you know what? The universe has something that's way better than A. So maybe not bringing A to you. Affirmations are all about what you feel when you're coming from a place to begin with that's love. And when you live in the world of love, I'll tell you what, it feels really good. And you don't have to be miserable. You don't have to be unhappy. And you don't have to hurt. Regardless of what's going on in your life, you don't have to suffer because as soon as you live with gratitude and love, everything heals. I don't know who it was that said, if the only prayer you ever say in your life is thank you, that's enough. Now, if you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold the Space For. Hold the space for means to see somebody manifesting a vision they have for themselves. Now, it might be a new home. It might be a college course that they want to take, that they're looking for or looking for how to fund it. It might be a new relationship. It might be how to cook healthy foods. I don't know. It could be anything, whatever it is you want. But if you go down there and you let us know what it is and you ask us to hold a space for you, just put your name and the outcome that you desire, that's all you need to do. I will also add it to that page. Now tell all your family and friends to come by and read the page, the hold the space for a page. And you do it too, at least, at least once a week, the more, the faster it will come. Why? Because when you ask for something from the universe, the thought form's going out. But what happens when lots of people are seeing you living that reality? It's a bigger thought form. So the bigger thought form is going to grab the attention of the universe, bringing it to you faster and with the caveat that it will only come to you if and when it's in your highest and best interest, which might be immediately. 
I'm very glad again that you are here today. I appreciate you going down below or up there and click on share and like so that other people who are seeking for a different kind of spirituality know to come here because metaphysical ministry is not about religion and it's all about spirituality because you can be very devout religiously and have no spirituality understanding or you can be extremely spiritual with absolutely no religious bent. If you haven't already done so, go in over here and fill in your name and email address and I will send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. Thank you so much for being here and again this week when you go to do affirmations first put yourself in a space where you really and truly are in love just feeling love and then feel the outcome you want to feel. Blessings.